Same people, same language. Croatia has a better national football team. Sorry, Serbia. You just really had to take the knife and twist it. Huge boobs and huge lips are popular in Serbia. Many women there had a plastic surgery. Wow, do people think this? Hey guys, cheers. Živjeli, živjeli, prost, salud, slancha. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. This is Wando here. And if you're wondering why, there's this random black girl that's reacting to a video called Croatia vs Serbia by an awesome YouTuber that I love called Gus on the go. Gus on the go? Gus on the go or Gus on the go? I don't know. So yeah, if you're brand new here, I'm an American girl. I make videos traveling around the Balkans that I love so dearly and I am based in Belgrade, Serbia. So I thought I would react to this video because I've spent a lot of time in both countries. I've done a lot of traveling in both countries. I'll link in the description my playlist for travels in both of them. I've also dated a Croat and a Serb, so I guess that's like next level research in field study of these people. <laughs> Oh god, that's a video for another day. Anyway, I'm being such an idiot. Let's just react to the video. <sighs> okay. Croatia versus Serbia. I need to say both Croatians and Serbians share a lot of similarities, as they were the same country until 30 years ago. Mm. Uh, they, they weren't the same country. They were republics that were part of Yugoslavia. But anyway, I know what he means. It's not a big deal. Let's move along. Same people, same blood, Slavs, and same language. I agree. But don't tell that to everyone. Some people will tell you there are two different languages. Beware. <laughs> Serbs are a little more outgoing. The Serbs are friends with everyone. Everybody. American tea, English tea. While Croats are a bit more private, but it's not a big difference really. I totally agree with this. Serbs are like a little bit more curious. Serbs are more likely to like talk to a random stranger. Like, and, and this isn't just my experience. This is the experience of a lot of people that I know. But again, I, Croats are curious too. And I think when you go to the Dalmatia region where you have, you know, Dubrovnik, Split, Makarska, I do think people get extra outgoing there. On the other hand, Croats are more liberal and tolerant, while Serbs are a bit more conservative. That's generally true, but it's also kind of a generalization. Like, you will meet plenty of Serbs who are liberal and tolerant. Croatia has a better national football team. Sorry, Serbia, you have a great team too, but Croatia was number three in World Cup 1998 and in the World Cup final 2018. Can't believe you went there. That's so cold. Damn, burn. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they do. I will say that I do think Serbia had a great national team that was competing in the World Cup that Croatia got to the final of in 2018, which I went to and I have a video about it linked in the description. I went to Russia, many different cities, and I saw one of the matches in Rostov on Don. Anyway, I think Serbia had a great team that year. I think they just kind of choked, in my opinion. <laughs> Serbian people love to socialize and you can immediately feel the warmth. Cats on the other hand can seem a bit reserved at first, but they are also very, very welcoming once you get to know them. Yeah, I agree with that. I feel like we kind of talked about that before. I simply love both of these Slav people. Me too. Six. Serbs are more Americanized. Croats like to joke that Belgrade is a Silicon Valley because women there are not natural. But there still are a lot of beautiful girls. Huge boobs and huge lips are popular in Serbia. Many women there had a plastic surgery and they are often dressed up. His girlfriend is in the other car. That's so crazy. <laughs> She's, She's watching your magnet. She's a spy. <laughs> Croatian women on the other hand are more natural and shy. There are those who had plastic surgery of course, but that is really rare here. And that's why a lot of people like Croatian women so much. Please? Okay, this is probably the biggest thing in the video that I disagree with. Wow, do people think this? First of all, the Silicon Valley term is actually a term for a specific street here in Belgrade. It's not really a term for Serbia in general. When you do see women like that in Serbia, they usually have more money. They have like a higher kind of 
socioeconomic status, they have a higher status in society. The general public, you will not see women who look like that. Serbian women are natural beauties who don't need all of that work done. That's just the way it is as well in the United States. That's like how it is in, I don't know, LA, where it's like the more rich women, the type who get invited to be on reality shows, like Real Housewives or whatever. Those are the ones with the fake lips and the fake boobs and stuff. But if you're like walking around California, you see, you'll see plenty of normal, natural looking girls. So um, I don't, agree with this, <laughs> basically. She's a spy. Croatian <laughs> women, on the other hand, are more natural and shy. There are those who have plastic surgery, of course, but that is really rare, yeah? and that's why a lot of people like Croatian women so much. Croatian. <laughs> wow, I'm just like, Gus, uh, how can you say that? They're both natural. The part where he's like, uh, Croatian women are more natural and shy, like, Serbian women are natural and shy too. So again, I think this is a stereotype, basically. Eight different looks. <laughs> Croatian. Croatian people are a little physically different from Serbs. A little bit. I don't know. A little bit. You tell, the, you tell the difference from a Croatian person and a Serb. You have all kinds of look in both countries, and Croats on the other side are also very tall. I can still usually tell the difference between a Serbian and a Croatian. Damn, really? How? What superpowers do you have, Gus? Give them to me! Give them to me! What is it? There is no difference between that, you know? You sure. can enjoy Kiyo, you can enjoy Serbia. Well, this guy's really hot. <laughs> He's probably married. It doesn't matter. He's in a video, it doesn't matter. Serbian food is slightly better than Croatia, except for the seafood. But there is a lot of similarities when it comes to food. Your favorite? Serbian food is so good. This is an area where I would like Croatia better because I'm a pescatarian, so I love seafood and I cook seafood every single day. I go to the market here in Serbia, so you actually can get seafood here. Um, but yes, uh, Croatia has a bigger variety of seafood and oh my god, <laughs> I'm missing. Oh, I'm missing the seafood there. Can't wait to go. When it comes to the music, clubs in Croatia is pumping Serbian music, even though few Croats will admit they listen to Turbofol. That's interesting. I've been to clubs in Croatia and they are playing turbo folk. Although I will say, I've noticed a lot of turbo folk artists come from like lots of different countries. You know, there's like Severina from Croatia. You have artists who are from Serbia, you have artists from Bosnia and Herzegovina, so I thought turbo folk artists were a mix, but I could be wrong, he could be right, I don't know. What do you think about Croatia? Nothing against it. Against it. I think there is a lot of good Serbs. Like there is good Croatia, and when you look at the media, you think that we hate each other, but it's not like that. I have a lot of Serbian. I know a lot of Croatian people, they have a lot of Serbian friends. From two brother countries, two yeah. countries. Good brother. 100%. 100%. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I like how he ends the video. I was reading the comments and some people were saying he forgot to say these huge things that like Serbia is Orthodox Christian while uh, Croats are Catholic, so he didn't mention religion. He also didn't mention that Croats use the Latin alphabet while Serbs use the Latin and Cyrillic alphabet. Although, as someone who lives in Serbia for four years, I rarely see the Cyrillic alphabet. It's like signs, menus, websites, everything's in the Latin alphabet. So I bet that's why he didn't even say it, because he didn't even think of it, because you just, as a traveler, don't see the Cyrillic alphabet as much. You see it more in like Bulgaria and Macedonia and, and Russia and whatnot. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. That really helps my channel, it helps my videos show up more on the homepage and get suggested more, just simply clicking the like button, so I would greatly appreciate it. And cheers again, you guys. I will see you in the next video.